Hello everyone I hope all of you are having a great time and are in best of your spirits although corona has subsided now but we have to be cautious till the time it's not over today I'm not going to do another coding question with you rather I'll tell you about a very important concept on how to take hints from the interviewer during the interview process most people and the candidates are absolutely unaware of the hints that the interviewer is throwing at you and they fail to take those hints or acknowledge those hints and mess up their coding rounds so let's get started with it i hope you have a great time watching this video how to take hints from the interviewer let's hypothetically assume that an interview is going on and due to some reason the candidate is in a pressure situation either the com- the question is too complex or the interviewer explic- explicitly wanted to make sure that it's a pressure test for the candidate so what will happen obviously the candidate will be confused and totally lost acknowledging this fact uh, the interviewer will try to throw hints to the candidate and now since he has got those hints it becomes the responsibility of the candidate to actually acknowledge those hints and recorrect or reidentify the direction in which he is approaching towards the solution it becomes highly crucial because even though the interview may be going fairly well and since the interviewer threw some hints at the candidate if he fails to perform well on those hints the perception of the interviewer can totally change this brings in the necessity to understand those hints and update your solution i have been taking interviews from some time now approximately 3 years so i thought of collating few tips that can help the candidates perform better in the interview process so let's get started with the first one which states that always keep your camera on it's very important to make an eye to eye contact with the interviewer so that you are able to interpret his facial expressions and using those expressions you can actually uh, repivot yourself whether you are moving in the right direction or the wrong direction so if you are moving in the right direction it will boost your confidence if you are moving in the wrong direction it will give you an opportunity to completely give up on the previous thought process and bring in something new to the table the direction in which the interviewer wants also there is another reason why you should always keep your camera on it helps interviewer interpret your intentions about the current interview process how serious you are about giving the current interview with, for this company so if you if you have absolutely turned your camera off then that interpretation is gone and the interviewer will not be able to judge how serious you are with respect to the current job now let's move on to the second tip if the interviewer is repeating the same sentence multiple times in different phrases try and interpret his intentions let's take a hypothetical example if you are solving one problem with the backtracking approach and the first hint that he drops that kindly try and bring memoization still you are unable to interpret this hint and the interviewer again drops another hint to you which is something like do can you do some caching these two hints should direct you immediately that bring in dynamic programming to the table if you are not doing it that won't land you in today's job there is a famous proverb in english which states read between the lines you need to follow this approach during the interview process as well so now let's move on to the third tip which states if the interviewer says can you validate your solution so there are two cases here one happy case and one sad case so let's talk about the happy case when the interview is going fairly well and you have coded the solution the interviewer has acknowledged the, your thought process and he tells you to validate the solution what you're going to do you will dry run your code or the pseudo code through various test cases to make sure that the solution is full proof what can be the other interpretation of this statement can you validate the solution the interviewer is being too critical on you that means you need to abolish the complete logic that you have discussed so far and bring in something new to the table so this is a risky statement that the interviewer has made so it's very important to interpret the tone in which the interviewer has told you the statement
if you are able to do that then you will be able to recalibrate your thought process and perform better at the interview now let's move on to the next tip of the day which states acknowledge that your solution is not good enough if the interviewer is trying to send this message to you then instead of being fussy and adamant about your current logic you should be ready to accept it and think about some alternative solution how can the interviewer send you this message let's look at few such statements can you improvise on the solution can you do something better can you look for an alternative approach can you improve on the time complexity can you improve on the space complexity these are the few statements which may tend to show an impression that the interviewer is not satisfied with the solution and wants you to think in some other direction or in some other way now let's move on to the next step of the day by this time i hope the interview is over and in the end if the interviewer wishes you good luck for the next round then that means you have performed fairly well in the current round it's not a negative sign at least i can for sure say this so this tip was given to me by one of my close friends when i was preparing for the interviews itself hope you enjoyed today's session if you liked it please don't forget to like share in, and comment in the section below also subscribe to the channel thanks for watching it and have a great day ahead